This is a CBS News special report. I'm Jeff Law reporting from CBS News headquarters in New York, and there has been a deadly shooting at a newspaper office in Annapolis, Maryland, the Capital Gazette. We are following it at this hour. Four people have been killed, we are told. A suspect is now in custody. The Gazette is owned by the Baltimore Sun Media Group. Police are now at the scene of that shooting at the Gazette. We're told they're also at the offices of the parent newspaper, the Baltimore Sun. But you're seeing the scene right now. Justice correspondent Jeff Pegues is following developments, working his sources from inside our Washington, D.C. newsroom. Jeff, what can you tell us about this shooting at the Capitol Gazette right now? Well, obviously, Jeff, we're still early on in this investigation, but the good news for investigators out there is that they have a suspect in custody. You just reported that, and so that is information that has been confirmed. You see in these images people being evacuated from that building. Uh, that is uh, something that has been ongoing for the last uh, several minutes or so as investigators get on the scene and sort out who is friend from foe. But what we know is one person is in custody. Four people are now confirmed dead. Whether there are more injuries, we just don't know that right now. And in fact, investigators both on the local level and the federal level are still getting up to speed here. We know that the F ATF, the FBI is responding along with local uh, police there in the Annapolis area. I was told by a source that city officials are moving in or have moved into an emergency operations center as they deal with this unfolding tragedy. Jeff. All right, Jeff Begays, thanks very much. We've been watching the tweets of an intern actually inside that building at the Capitol Gazette, and she tweeted, or there was a tweet saying, help us. The Capital Gazette and the Baltimore Sun Media Group is one of the oldest publishers in the country. Uh, it publishes the Capital, also the Maryland Gazette, as we mentioned, owned by the Baltimore Sun Media Group. Uh, police are also at the Baltimore Sun at this hour. They, at this point, we've got no specific threats of anyone at the Sun, but since this shooting appears to have happened inside a, uh, a newspaper office, that's why they're being a little cautious about that right now. We should uh, remind folks that the shooter, we are being told right now by police, is in custody. But the latest is in Annapolis, Maryland. Uh, we're told four are dead after a shooting at the Capitol Gazette, which is a newspaper in that area. We're going to keep following this story this afternoon. We'll have much more about this on your local news on this CBS station, on our 24-hour streaming news service, CBSN. And, of course, right here tonight on the CBS Evening News. But as we continue to follow this shooting in Maryland, for now, I'm Jeff Glor, CBS News in New York. For news 24 hours a day, go to cbsnews.com. This is going to be a story for how many days? Less than a week. People will forget about us after a week um, unless, you know, we keep tweeting I don't really care about tweeting right now. Um, people are, this is, I honestly didn't even expect to be talking with Anderson Cooper today. Um, I thought people would get like a Apple News notification and they would just blow it off. Like, like what happens to everybody. I reported on, on Pulse when Pulse happened. I'm, I went to school in Florida and um, I remember being so upset hearing about the victims who were texting their families. Um, and there I was sitting under a desk texting my parents, telling them that I loved them. And I just, I just don't know what I want right now, right? But I'm going to need more than a couple days of news coverage and some thoughts and prayers because it's our whole lives have been shattered. Um, and so thanks for your prayers, but I couldn't give a fuck about them if there's nothing else. Celine and Phil, yeah. uh, I, I, again, I'm, I'm sorry it's under these circumstances, but I appreciate the strength of, of you both talking. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.